All right, what is up, you guys? And as always, welcome back to uh, well, we're gonna call this week. We're gonna call it the um, the Golurk week. Uh, team is of Golurk, of course. And you know, Arachnid was gonna say, but no, yes, no. What's called? Yeah, Arachnid, right? Uh, Lucario, Porygon C, Dragalgi, and Rotom Mo. Now, this is actually quite strange. Going into this, I know that when I upload these games, we are actually gonna go for, you know, also all Chronos versus from Reddit, uh, of course. <laughs> but it feels so silly going into this, knowing, oh, Sol Kaleo and Zacian, that's gonna be absolute fire. I don't see a defogger though, right? So I feel it's really safe starting off with uh, with Custage. I, I do fear maybe Plasma Fist from uh, from a Sarah or a lead or even the Pikachu to an extent. But yeah, anyway, like I'm getting. I know when I'm creating this, like I'm not gonna ask for any future Pokemon to use for next week because I don't know how the Crown Fundra meta is gonna look at or or be. So I'm gonna go guns blazing, I'm gonna get a lot of losses and upload a majority of them because content. <laughs> but I really, really hope that when Crown Thundra comes out that the meta will be interesting even though very, very, very tough. Like I I, I, I called this lead, didn't I? <laughs> Alright, so no webs for me from the beginning at least. There is no way I can take a hit from this. Um, Sylvie should be alright. Like, thinking about the combination. No, actually, Optima should be alright. Because the combination is Plasma Fist, Volt Switch, maybe Thunder Punch. There is no way he has a knockoff, which is great. So, right, getting that right. And Golurk will now proceed to kill something. We don't know which variant of your sheath this is. By the way, is his team grounded? There's no flying mons here, so Earthquake is actually a no-brainer play. Right, withdrawals is fair. Goes to... Oh, buddy. Oh, buddy, this is gonna sting. This is a banded Golurk. By the way, Golurk got so good, this, um... With the um, Isle of Arma... Upgrade with both Poltergeist and um, or all of the access to the lives of Trek. Uh, he just got that extreme versatility that really there is nothing like it. Right, Sol Galeo. I could try to stomach a hit here. Sunsteel Strike looks to be probably his best move. I am fearing a possible Dynamax. Yeah, that's a thing though. Sunsteel Strong looks to be a rather easy play for him. We should be able to stomach that, but not do anything about it. So I think this is a an a right play. I am worried. I don't believe um, a coming naturally versus it. Yeah, Sunsteel Strike, good. I would just would have been an unnecessary risk. By the way, the animations on this are incredible. It actually is. Oh, look at that. Look at that. We're gonna get up our whips. This is... This... His... He could be having Flare Blitz. This is signs of withdrawals, but the thing is fair. To Serora, I have back to you. And Serora is actually... It's a thread and a half for me. There is just no natural switching for me. Though, I think both Dragology and... You know... And Optimus are like ideal switch ins, but there is no way he's gonna go for that now, so I'm gonna bring in Sylvie. I'm actually, yeah, like if he goes with Plasma Fist again, then he's an absolute mad lad. <laughs> I was fearing knockoff to an extent. Let's see how much will it do. <laughs> it does actually have. Significant chunk. Um, now we could flip turn here. I don't believe we we'll lose too much to that. Sludge Bomb is good, but I feel Sol Galeo is um, 
such an immense force. Use a natural good switch in. Yeah. So we got this one right, even though it kind of stinks. It has clear body, so we know we can't um, outmaneuver it. <sighs> Which means... The thing is, though, like, you could do a right. So could you. I'm trusting in RM Solo. Basically, for that specs, Shadow Ball, which should do alright. I just fear in the Dynamax. Right, Stason, this is gonna do a lot. Didn't kill though, didn't kill. But it did good. Sunsteel Strike could be in range of taking me out. Mainly because Porygon C is somewhat frail, yeah. I guess we took it, but it wasn't necessarily that convincing. Question is whether or not I want to save... Oh, he... Did, okay, he, he took that. To Serora. You know this is gonna hurt, right? This is... This is one of those bada beam bada boom damage. And I think I have a small chance of outspeeding him with Porygon C. It's all about the damage. It's a two-ish KO. Yeah, I'm actually gonna switch in Optimus again. I kind of feel it's somewhat of a safe switch in now that he showcased that he went for Plasma Fist three times. Could go for close combat. And we are just, you know, embracing this as well as we can. Um, does he have anything that can take a pull for guys? Yeah, he does. Actually, this is actually on after all this very... So, Solgaleo should be a sack plane this time. Sa dude, dude, dude. Dude, 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 dude. I hope you know what you're doing. Because I am pretty sure this is a one AKO on you. That's Goldrick for you, folks. That's Goldrick for you. There is no going back. Goldrick is here to take your lives. Oh, Meshams.com. Oh, it's the Wicked Blow variant. Now the question is... This Wicked Blow is gonna... Pop me as... I have no switch into this. Like, it's resisted, sure. But I wonder... We, we're gonna try this. I wanna see what happens. Oh no. Alright, this could be bad. This could be very bad, actually. He's at minus speed, however. But I think this darkest. I was gonna say darkest area, but that's not it. It's gonna absolutely destroy me. Max E1, Max Blow. Oh, we took it. We absolutely somehow took it. Gonna get my justified boost. It's Life Orb though. But it won't be able to Sucker Punch me. Which is nice. I could Dynamax myself, but at this point I kinda just wanna try to break him as much as possible with my Life Orb. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Justified indeed. Justified indeed, buddy. Justified indeed. Did I say that enough? I don't don't know whether or not I did. Well that blue. <laughs> That's cool. Uh, kinda got in there. <laughs> Here's the thing though with Serora, like, I believe it outspeed me. 
don't want to take too big of a risk here. I believe Plasma Fist is like his easiest play, and there is really no turning back from it. Or Blaze Kick, neutral good hit. Did alright. It did alright. Outrage. Wow, that's a combination. Still though, still a go lurk. <laughs> Damn, I love myself some go lurks. Not gonna deny it. Not going to deny it. I love myself some go lurk. So Galeo comes back, it's on death's door, but it will be able to knock out my... And I really want to knock out this Pikachu with Optimus if I can. So I feel I am somewhat safe to kind of wrap up the game if I want to, so um, I'm going to try that. Let's see, Sunsteel Strike, good, going to be resisted hit. And this is going to turn out to be quite an interesting game for Golurk. Um, sorry, by the way, if I've been somewhat silenced. I've been really focused here. I'm, without sounding too cocky, I was very nervous going into this game till he switched in that um, Zegia versus that Earthquake. That basically sealed the game for me um, in a way I never thought was going to happen. Now he could. He didn't do it. If he were Lightning Rod on that poor Pikachu, he could have gotten that for play right. But overall, I think I think my opponent um, really just didn't like Golurk. Like the combination of um, Golurk's um, what do you call it? Golurk's um, what's it called? Typing type combination um, made Sarah Aura very, very, very frustrated to um, come in and out versus it. It basically was a no no man's play, and. Um, I respect my opponent the way he was trying to negate that, but it just just didn't work. All right, gonna turn makes my goal, Eric. I feel I feel it's time. I feel it's time to show what Goldurg is all about. But yeah, like I said, like losing session was tough, and um, Goldurg just if Goldurg gets a free hit in, it just does so much damage. It is one of those mods that. My respect is heavily based on its free hits, and it gets a lot more of those this generation than it did its previous generation because, well, let's just face it as it is, due to losing hidden power and knockoff being that well I'd spread, Goler got a lot better. So to Chronos, thank you so much for the game, um, definitely wasn't expecting Ubers, but you know, I rarely do, but it still turned out to be quite an interesting game. So. For what it's worth, thank you for the game, if you're watching, as always, thank you for doing your show, don't forget to leave a like, if you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe, I guess, and you know, as always, take care everyone, bye.